What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this is mostly going to be a Scream 7 Theory video today. So one of the things that people are expecting for Scream 7 is that it will parallel Scream 3. Similar to how Scream 5 is parallel the original Scream, Scream 6 is parallel Scream 2. So Scream 7 naturally might parallel Scream 3. Now, one of the things that have been at the center of all of this for this trilogy is the connection between Sam Carpenter and Billy Loomis and the secrecy of it all. Similar to how Maureen Prescott and her affairs and the secrecy surrounding that was at the center of the original Scream trilogy. So in the original Scream film, we know that Billy Loomis disclosed to Sidney Prescott during their monologue, him and Stu, after they had revealed themselves to be Ghostface, that Billy had found out that Maureen Prescott had an affair with his father Hank Loomis and she was the reason their, that his parents split and why his mom moved out and abandoned him as he put it. Now we don't find out how he knew that. We don't find out how he learned this. It seems to be something that was not important to a lot of people from that original movie. However, Scream 3 shared some light as to how he found out about that. Now in Scream 5 we find out that again Sam is Billy Loomis's daughter. And at the center of it all, we find out that her boyfriend, Richie Kirsch, and his girlfriend, Amber Freeman, who was also a friend with Tara, found out about this somehow. They were crazy stab fans, and they wanted to use this knowledge to inspire Hollywood to create the perfect, true legacy sequel that lives up to that original film the way none of the sequels after have been able to, according to them. Now... The question that people really seem to have about this one is how did Amber find out that Sam was Billy's daughter? There's a throwaway line that many people like to chalk it up to as mediocre writing, which I don't agree with. She says that it's a small town and your mom's a drunk. Now, she did answer how she found out. She just didn't give the most specific answer that many people, I guess, feel entitled to know. So I would think that in Scream 7, we're going to get that answer and we will find out how Amber learned that Sam specifically was the daughter of Billy Loomis. And who are we going to learn that from? I think we would learn that courtesy of Christina Carpenter. I think this will just be one of the many parallels you could have play out in Scream 7. So... This is how I have envisioned it, because when she said it's a small town and your mom's a drunk, I didn't find any issue with that line. It was a perfect way to just give a simple answer and leave it up to your interpretation as to what that means. Now, why is she being cryptic in that in that manner? Again, that's where people like to chalk it up to. Oh, they just didn't know. And they come up with this lazy writing bit. Maybe, although I don't see that as lazy writing. I really, truly don't. I don't think we need to really also know how she found out. The fact that she found out is enough. No one seems to question how did Billy find out about Hank and Maureen. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter about Billy, but it matters with Amber and the secrecy about Sam's lineage to Billy, whatever. So in Scream 7, I could see it playing out like this. If Sam and Tara were to confront Christina, because Christina is a person we're expected to now meet in Scream 7. We were expecting to meet her in Scream 6. We know at one point she was actually factored to be introduced in Scream 5. So if they introduce her in Scream 7, if there's some narrative going on where they're trying to repair their broken relationship that we know exists after the events of Scream 6, Sam and Tara are not talking to Christina. Everybody's cut each other off. In Scream 7, if that relationship is trying to be repaired, I could see something playing out where Christina explains how she thinks Amber found out be based off of an encounter she had with Amber a couple nights prior or a couple weeks even prior to the events that transpired in Scream 5 started. Amber could have been wandering the streets of Woodsboro, simply just wandering the streets, walking, going on a walk at night or whatever time of day it was in Woodsboro. She stumbles across Christina outside of Tara's house she's walking and says hey I'm gonna stop and say hi to Tara visit Tara really quick but before she even gets a chance to do that something more interesting comes up Christina's outside yelling on her phone has a bottle in hand drunkenly yelling at somebody on the phone not wanting Christina to see her Amber could have decided to hide behind a bush or something hide somewhere out of sight out of mind so she can continue to spy and listen to what the hell Christina is talking about being a nosy teenager Christina is revealed to be on the phone yelling at Tara, Tara's dad, begging him to come back. It's we can learn that she had been wanting him back for some time. And at times she did have a habit of getting drunk and calling him, telling him how he's not shit, this, that and the third. And then during this encounter that Amber saw transpire, she could have overheard Christina yelling at him about how it's not her fault that 
It's not her fault that he didn't know that Sam was actually Billy Loomis's daughter and not his. Something, something as simple as that. That could have been how Amber found out. And the reason why Christina would associate this encounter as the likeliest way Amber found out is because after the phone call, Christina heard something and Amber came out and said, oh, I was just walking through the neighborhood and I... I dropped my phone or something. She lies about why she was hiding behind a bush after Christina notices her hiding. And now with the events of what happened in five and then with the question now being proposed to Christina, she will reveal that that is how Amber must have found out about Sam being being Billy's daughter. There's a phone conversation she was having one time out on out in front of her house. Amber was walking down the sidewalk, must have overheard it and lied to Christina about what she was doing when she was confronted about it. Because Amber, again, was eavesdropping and overheard something. She took this knowledge, went over to her her little stab subreddit page with her online boyfriend, Richie. They started planning the events of Scream 5. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. That is one way Scream 7 could parallel Scream 3. We could get a specific narrative and specific front and back explanation as to how Amber actually found out. And it could be something as simple as that. Wandering the streets of Woodsboro one night. Caught Christina out on her front porch. Having a drunken phone call with somebody. Who was revealed to be Tara's dad. And she let it slip. Out in the open. Dr in a drunken state. Not aware of who could be around. That it wasn't her fault. That Tara's dad didn't know. That Sam was Billy's daughter. Although, of course, it was her fault, and she's talking in a drunken state, so she doesn't make much sense. Amber overhears this, learns that Sam is Billy Loomis's daughter, goes over to Richie, and there you go. That's how Amber learned it. But people just, I, I've seen people clamoring to know or clamoring to say they want to know how Amber found out. I really don't think it's that big a deal. She said that it's a small town and your mom's a drunk. That left me with plenty of opportunities to imagine how that could have played out. And this being one of them. If we get something specific like this in Scream 7, you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you would be satisfied with an explanation like this. Would you not be? What other things do you think could occur in Scream 7 that will parallel the events of Scream 3 and also again kind of loop it into the events of Scream 5 because I'm pretty sure Scream 7 will tie itself into what happened in Scream 5 in one way or another. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.